Hello guys and welcome to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Churn Farm 2017. This map can be found up at the FSUK.com forums and there will be a link in the description below. Uh, this map is uh, located in the beautiful Churn Valley. Uh, Churn Farm for FS15 has been converted to FS17. Uh, many more improvements and features make this detail this a detailed and interesting map set in the west coast of the UK. Uh, that little bit was from uh, the first part of the description over at the FSUK forums. Uh, let's see here. Let's get some more information about this map. Uh, there are six cell points. Uh, high high grain high gain grains will buy wheat, canola, and corn. Twin Canyons Brewery brewery will buy barley and sunflower. There's a straw power plant that will buy straw, wood chips, and bales. Uh, Churn Valley Granary, which will buy most of your crops. Uh, Churn Valley Root Crop Sales, which will buy obviously your root crops. And Lagasse Slurry, which will buy your slurry. There are three places to store your produce. Uh, you can store them at the main silo. Uh, you can store them at the silo next to the pig farm. Or you can store them at Churn Valley Grain Store. Uh, there is a port that has two roomy buildings just right for storing your grain. Uh, there is no storage exclusively for wood chips. Uh, you just will use tip anywhere on there. Uh, he says in here there are no unrealistic hay lofts for storing grass or straw. As in real life, it would be baled up and you would store the bales. There are fermenting stylos at the cow farm as opposed to... Um, silage bunkers and there are water tanks at the main farm and cow farm have water fill triggers seed and fertilizer fill triggers uh, milk does sell automatically at midnight uh, there is no traffic on the map uh, the fields are viable uh, however there are no missions and mud mod is incorporated and i will leave a description or a link uh, to the fsuk support forum where uh, if you find that the mud is excessive or causes you issues, uh, the mod author has given some instructions on basically how to disable the mud. Uh, it just involves going in and making two simple edits in the mod desk XML file. Uh, so I'll also include that information. And this map is seasons ready with a snow mask. Uh, so you will be able to play with uh, seasons and have your bales rot if they get wet and snow will not appear uh, inside of buildings. So let's go ahead and jump on in the map. So we're going to pick out our gator. We're going to pull up the log. Uh, so there is one error at the top that is not related to this map whatsoever. Uh, so this error that you see up here is not associated with this map. It is associated with a different map that I am looking at uh, possibly doing a video on. So we are loading up our map here. You see we have some fabric scripts loading. This map is chop straw enabled. We have a fair bit of starting equipment loading up here. And there we go. So we have an error-free log on startup. And uh, here we start at our farmhouse. I uh, see we have a pickup truck. So let's go ahead and take a look at the map. So you can see we have quite the odd-shaped fields here. So this is going to be a challenge for any type of automated hired help. Uh, you may be able to use the... Um, the uh, what is it? The uh, vehicle AI mod to work with these really odd shaped fields, especially field 15 with this. Uh, what I guess would be a grove of trees in the middle. Uh, this tree, this field that kind of wraps around the road, and then uh, here we have a field that kind of got a chunk out of it, and another field here. Maybe you could merge these together and have one 
larger shaped field. So we have our standard crop types on this map. And we start out by owning a fair number of fields, um, kind of all around the map. At the bottom, we own fields 31 and 34. Uh, then over here, we own fields 28, 15, 19, 17, 18. We own field 20, field 14, field 9, and field 7. And it looks like there are 34 total fields on this map. So we do these videos on hard mode and we have nothing in the farm silos on hard mode. And it looks like we have um, two main cell points for most of our crops. And then one cell point there, the brewery. We have a biogas plant, spinnery, straw power plant. So we have quite a list of starting equipment here. It's all fairly new, uh, so maintenance will be low. And nothing is in the least area. Let's go ahead and take out a loan. All right. And we have all three animal types on this map, sheep, pigs, and cows. And we have nothing in the various feed areas. Our silo has a rather interesting capacity of 1,049,600 liters. It's rather specific, but uh, there you go. All right, let's take a look at that extensive starting equipment. So I don't even know how many tractors we start out with, but uh, they range in horsepower from 75 to 280 horsepower. Uh, we have one set of forks, our arms, and a manure fork. Uh, we have our Massey Ferguson harvester with corn and grain header. This looks like a fairly small corn header and a mid-sized grain header. We have a header trailer. We have a potato harvester. And I'm sorry, this is a sugar beet harvester. Uh, we have a fleet of three tippers, two dolly and one regular trailer. Cultivator, plow, two sets of cedars, a fertilized spreader, a fertilized sprayer, slurry spreader, manure spreader. Uh, we have our handy dandy little barrel weight. Uh, we have some a fleet of weights here, a pickup truck, water trailer, a log trailer, and three power washers. So that is an extensive fleet of starting equipment. All right, let's take a look at the store. Let's hit reset and see what happens. Hmm, where did it go? Oh, it's over here. So I'm guessing this is kind of the arable farm. Here we have cows and chickens. We have our pigs and sheep down here. So it looks like most of our cell points, or if not all of our cell points, are down here to the south. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, I guess head out here in our pickup truck and uh, maybe we'll just run up here to the cow area and then we'll come back around to this arable area. Uh, we'll check out and figure out what this is. Make our way down here to the pigs and such and then we'll wind around to um, here. Uh, we'll come up here and kind of wind around this little road here. Make our way up to this rather interesting area. I'm not really sure what that is. It's it's like a bunch of little fields that aren't defined. It's kind of odd. And uh, then we'll come down here. So that's our plan of action. I like how we've got a uh, we've got solar power here. We've got a dish. Antennas, we've got a little play area back around there. Uh, the FSUK, oh, get out of there. Posting. Um, come on. Oh, well, let's back up. 
the FSUK uh, posting description uh, said that this map was highly detailed and suggested that you may need a fairly high-end system to uh, to play this without any uh, frame rate issues. So let's see if, if we can get a little bit of view going on. So that must be our cow farm over there with the uh, with the silos. We got some beautiful wildflowers here on this hill. Some rolling hill fields. All right. This appears to be the entrance to the cow area. Oh, we got a gate. Oh, I really like these gates, these painted black gates. Uh, these are the same gates we typically see. They're either rusted up or galvanized metal. But uh, come on, open up. Oh, this one's right click. Okay. So the left gate was left click and the right gate was a right click. I really like those black painted gates. It's they're slick. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Like here's the galvanized gate. There's a nice creaking sound. I don't know if you can hear that. So field 11 is 2.18 hectares, $176,000. Let's go over here and check out field. Uh, oh, we got a collision on our hedge, so we're not going to be able to run through that. Did you all hear that creaking? That's uh, kind of a great sound. 1.18 hectares, 95,000. Oh, that's a that's a wonderful tree there. I like how it overhangs here. So you might have uh, issues if you bring in something. Uh, oh, there's our chickens. If you have a low, uh, a high piece of equipment. Oh, there's that mud. That mud will sneak up on you. You don't even see it's there. So here we have some of our starting fleet. And uh, we have a customization area. So none of our starting fleet is in the customized trigger. So I'm wondering where that is. Oops. Uh, it appears to be right here in front of the, uh, the trigger itself. This appears to be a water tank. Let's see if it's a water fill point. There is a trigger there. Here we have a water um, water trough. This appears to be maybe the grass trough. Nope, that is simply deco. Here we have a grass trough in here. Grass trough inside this barn here. Nice uh, decorative um, silage bales in this area. Very large area for our cows to roam in. Let's see if we can figure out where we uh, buy them at. Could it be here? No. Could it be over here? Well, this gate opens this way. Nope, it's not over here. All right, let's keep on uh, trying to figure out where this trigger is. Uh, it appears to be in here. All right, let's buy up some cows. And here we have a uh, what I call the silage trough and uh, straw trigger. And right, that gate does not open. Or that door. Well. What the heck? There we go. 
Let's see if I get this one to open now. Oh, look at that. That is sneaky, you little sneaky, 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 sneaky. So if we go right here to the middle, we don't get the trigger. We have to go to the side to open this door. And we have to go over here to open this door. See, you little sneaky. All right, so here we have our manure pit. And I saw our slurry pit back here. There's our slurry pit. Another gate. Uh, some more storage here. We have what appears to be bale storage over here. And these are our two silage silos for fermenting. So you would tip in your grass or chaff here. And then we have informational display boards here that will tell us our chaff production or our silage production and then we have a digital display there and there to tell us how much silage we have uh, that we can fill out of these pipes so unlike the uh, silage bunkers we have fermenting silos for our cow area so I'm a little curious how the Fermenting silos would work with uh, seasons. I would suspect that the fabric script would uh, would kind of uh, defeat the uh, the seasons um, ferment fermenting schedule. Uh, so you may be able to get silage at a faster rate using the fermentation silo or fermentation. Um, yeah, fermentation silos versus using the in-game um, silage clamp type system. So I went in cab there because we've got some low hanging trees and it just kind of it distracts me and annoys me when we have trees flicking through your view. So there's that wonderful field that's got the grove of trees in the middle. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. I've got a thing for odd shaped fields and everything. Um, so this field is just spectacular with this uh, grove of trees here in the middle. I can't tell you how many fields in real life that I know that have trees like this that are just kind of cropped up in the middle. Or way at, we're up here on a massive rise. So we don't want to be driving off the edge of there. Looks like we've got a dairy. That is the uh, that is that big area that I wasn't sure about. Look how this the feel the rolling hills here. This is fabulous. This is an outstanding map already. Already I can tell this is a outstanding map. If I was looking for a map to play on, and I wanted to play on a European style map, this is it. No hands down. Or no no questions asked. Hands down. This is it. I would probably turn this mud off though, because um, I was looking on the form. I mean, this is ridiculous. Am I up to my axles in mud? I'm nearly up to the bottom of the truck in mud there. So, that was what I alluded to at the introduction. There were some people that were really complaining about the mud and uh, basically getting stuck in the mud uh, and harvesters not being able to harvest fields because of the mud. Uh, so the mod author, look at that, it's just, are you serious? Every time I come in this gate, I've got to deal with two foot of mud. Oh, no, we don't want to tip that over. Here, let's park this. All right, so like I said, if you don't want to deal with the mud, the mod author tells you basically how to turn it off. You basically go in the mod description file, you comment out or remove two files, two line entries, save that, put it back in the zip, and presto, your mud is gone. So here we have a water fill point. Uh, we have some more of our fleet fertilizer and fuel fill points. More of our fleet over here. Seed. Our cedars conveniently parked beside the seed. 
seed and fertilizer. These must be um, also fill points. Or are these storage? Um, that's interesting. This may be storage. If it is storage, I don't see any indicators as to uh, your fill levels. Unless they're in here. So this is the building that uh, the author talked about being able to store your root crops in. Uh, because if we see that there are red collisions, you see these red boxes. So there are collisions on those walls for storing root crops. This is our silo system. You can hear the dryer. There's your fill out pipe. And our fill in is right here. There's our grate. So that's our silo. There we have uh, some storage. We have our fertilizer, spreader, and sprayers in there. Here we have a customized point on this farm. I wonder if this door works. Get in this and drive around. All right, so we've already went over there, right? Okay. Oh, there's that darn mud. All right, let's go this way. Oh, look at that. Get out of the mud. If I played this map, I would definitely turn the mud off. Did I already say that? I think I might have already said that. Alright, I want to go this way. I, oh, I just knew it. Right, is there... I want to get up there because we got something up there. I see at least one tractor up there. Alright, I'm going to drive over here in the grass. Maybe that will make it mud free. Alright, looks like we can get up there from this road here. This is the forestry area. Oh, look at those beautiful wildflowers growing on that hillside. Absolutely spectacular. So coming up here to a relatively small little field here. This thing must be one of the smallest fields I've ever seen. 0.23 hectares, $18,000. So we've got a fuel point up here, and we've got uh, some type of a tractor up here, I saw. And we have mud. Alright, we're going to stay over there. Yep, we've, this is our definitely our forestry area. We have a forestry addition styre and our log steepa log trailer. Uh, let's 
Let's get spun back around and see if we can't make our way down this, staying out of the mud. Let's actually go this way. Looks like this might connect up with uh, some other things that are down here. So we have more forestry over here, it looks like. Just a pole barn storage. Looks like we have a nice landing here where we can uh, stage some some forestry work. Uh, we got a hedge. Beautiful lake here, a little pond. Big old section of cattails. Oh, get out of that. Let's see what this is. If this is just a uh, decorative thing, like a little uh, dock. Yep, this is just a little dock area. Come out here, go fishing. stuck there we go oh, I wonder what this sign says private road no trespassing oh well I guess we'll trespass if we want to getting these lovely wildflowers on this hillside Coming up to our pig area. This is the silos where you can store crops at the pig area. This is our silo dump or fill. Um, where's our. Oh, I guess our fill is right there and our dump. Let's go ahead and buy up some piggies. There they are. We have our food trough in here. That is a very interesting grate here. Our water trough. We have a little storage shed for our straw. Keep our straw nice and dry. Our manure point and our slurry fill point should be. There it is. There we have a slurry fill point and we have a nice old slurry tank there. Uh, I've heard about this. Uh, this was a mod that was in FS15. I've heard about this. Uh, we haven't seen it come in, in 17 yet. Let's just get up here and overlook this. So there's our pond that we were at looking at. There's some lovely fields. And uh, we have our cow area, pig area. This is a wonderful, beautiful map. Absolutely beautiful. Here we have a grass field. Two hectares, $161,000. All right. 
let's oh we got in the mud all right now I think our sheep are yep our sheep are down the road a little bit let's go take a wander down and see our sheep we got the end of the road. All right. Oh, look at that outstanding tree. This reminds me of a tree we've got in our backyard. It's just huge and round. Absolutely spectacular. All right. So this should be where our wool spawns. Are we going to buy our pig sheep or get our sheep? There's our sheep. We have our grass trough and our water trough here. And our sheep have this wonderful rolling hill area to just uh, meander around and graze. Wonderful view of the uh, shore. Truly spectacular. When I was first looking at this uh, map, I was thinking, why on earth was this map not included in the mod contest? Because uh, it just is so spectacular looking. And I know it would not qualify because this is technically a, a Farm Sim 15 conversion. Um... So I don't think these doors function. Nope. Then we have a fuel point here. So this map wouldn't qualify because it was a Farm Sim 15 conversion. Uh, but, quite frankly, this map, in my opinion, is far better, far more attractive than a fair number of maps that were, whoa, that mud will get you every time. Oh, the door to stew open. What's the deal? It didn't open for me. Let's try it again. They're just really delayed. Alright, so this is just decorative. This doesn't really do anything. Okay. So what was I saying? I was saying something about the contest, something about this map. Oh, we've got a dead tree there. Um, this map wouldn't qualify because the contest rules require that you uh, have an all original map and not a conversion or a map uh, that was basically from a previous game. So this map would not qualify for that, but this map is far, far more beautiful, uh, more uh, interesting, um, just better in so many ways than lots of the maps that were submitted in the map contest uh, for our for our mod contest this year. And of course, that's my opinion, and I'm going to stick to it. Uh, you may have a different opinion, and that's uh, that's your choice. And that's your right. So, if you have a different opinion, congratulations. I'm glad you do. Uh, please voice that opinion in the comments because I'd always like to hear what you all think. I'd like to know what kind of maps you all do like uh, for me to bring to you because right now I'm bringing you maps that I like. And I uh, figure if I like them, then maybe you'll like them. Uh, but if you're not liking the maps that you're seeing, let me know. Churn Valley Nursery. So this looks like this may be a uh, a tree area. Maybe some greenhouses. I don't know if these function in any way or if they're just purely decorative. They don't appear to have any triggers associated with them, but we will take a look. Nope, no triggers. They're just uh, they're just here. 
Making the map beautiful. There we have a line down to the beach. Nice sandy beach. We'll get over to that area. That looks like that might be the BGA. So let me know in the comments, uh, did you play this map on FS15 since this is an FS15 conversion? Uh, let me know if you played it on FS15. Let me know what you think of this map in general. This just leads us into some trees. If there are any maps that you uh, know that are out that you'd like me to uh, look at that I haven't looked at yet, uh, let me know. There we've got a nice big old storage barn. We're coming into the BGA area. Proceed through clamp after dumping. Exit at rear of facility. So we go this way. We proceed through one of the two clamps. So let's go ahead and check our triggers. We have the chaff. There it comes out. So the chaff trigger extends slightly beyond the edges of the bunker. And there we are. Again, they extend slightly beyond the edge of the bunker. These are uh, static. They are not dynamic. A nice spotlight so we can get plenty of light here if we're doing our leveling work at night. We have a storage shed for our equipment that we may want to store down here at the BGA for our BGA work. There's our silo king and there's our digestate tank. All right. So I like to sign. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a windmill. Like the sign said, we need to proceed out the back. So we will go ahead and do that. And while we're at it, we'll take a look at the... Uh, oh, we're going to go up this hill. Because we can, and we want to see more of the map from as high vantage as possible. So that appears to be a brewery down there. We have the dock we can see way off in the distance. It's some type of tower. I wonder if we're going to be able to figure out how to get to there. We might be able to get a really good view from there. All right, let's not uh, let's not tip this over. There we go. Looks like we follow this beach road. Oh, we could have went that way. We'll just follow the beach road here. All right, so now we get back on our road. Let's make our way back around. There's that wonderful field that has the grove of trees in the middle. Oh no, that's a different field. This is a field 34. We own this field. And I believe we own the field that's up the hill from this. Yep, we own the field this field and we own field 31 right up here that's quite the incline look at that, that's outstanding ok 
Can we go up this? Am I stuck? I think I'm stuck. All right, where are we at? 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 We're not there. Right here. All right, we got stuck. We couldn't get up in the tower. It's a little bit of a disappointment, but hey. If that's the only disappointment we have on this map, then that is fabulous. Make our way back down here to the brewery. Field 34 that we own is a pretty big old field. We can harvest it and work the field and have a wonderful view of the ocean. So here we have our twin cannons in where we buy our eggs. And they are also a buy point for grain, it appears. Let's take a look. Twin cannons. Well, let's back up and uh, let's figure out where we are here. Churn Valley Brewery. So there we are. This one takes, what is it? Barley and sunflowers. It's an interesting combination. I didn't know you can make alcohol from sunflowers. Alright, we're going to make our way on around here to the dock. Oh no, we're going to go up to the power plant, the straw power plant. So our tree, our road signs have collisions. That's good to know. We've got these speed bumps all around the road. I don't know if they're going to cause an issue with, uh, with pulling certain equipment or not. Appears to be a big old uh, sugar beet field. Yep. We'll have to uh, check and see how big that field is. Almost four hectares, three hundred eighty-one thousand dollars. Seems to be a little high in price. So what we got here? We got uh, fertilizer. It's an interesting model. Liquid fertilizer. Let me guess: water and seed, and fuel. Yep. So this is just your kind of a, your run-of-the-mill refill point. And this is our straw, hay, straw, grass, and wood chips. Whoa! So this is that straw um, power plant. Big old hillside here, grass. Another large field, field 25. Let's go ahead and check out it while we're here. 12.65 hectares, $1 million. So 
We're going to go in cab here for this uh, windy bit of the road. There we have another dead tree up there on the hill. So we definitely have varying field sizes on the map. There's another water point. Field 28 is the field we own. It kind of winds around this, or this wo road, not woad, this road kind of winds around the field. Let's see, we've got a bit of construction going on here, road work. That is quite the hill to get into that field. Let's see, we can't just uh, spin this. There's the vehicle. There's the equipment storage shop, or storage, not storage, the equipment shop. Go ahead and uh, check that out. Oh, we got quite the slant on this road. Camber, I guess you call it. John Deere. This is a John Deere dealer. Buy points. Got a couple uh, tractors here, and there's our customize and sell point. Oh, we got a nice little dirty tractor there. John Deere cultivator. Storage building that we can store equipment in. So let's uh, turn back around and before we go south I want to check this area to the north up that had all those uh, funny colored little squares like their little fields What that structure is way off there in the distance. Hmm. Let's go check that out. Is it like a water tower? What is this? I guess it's like a water tower. I don't know what that is. Anybody knows what that is? That'd be cool to know. I've never seen that structure before. And we got another one of those white dead trees. Dead tree. Oh, what is this? I do love these black fences.
This just looks like a little old um, farmer's garden. Fill point for seeds and just some random little plots of uh, crop. And we got a big old satellite dish. Oh, we got an air conditioning unit in this little uh, building. And a big old radio dish over here. All right. Now, where's our truck? There's our gator. We left him over there. All right, so now we know what this is. It's just kind of a interesting little plot of... Uh, it's like a garden center, I guess, maybe. Uh, don't really know why the uh, giant satellite dish is there, but uh, at any rate. Oh, what's, is this a sign? What's this say? Welcome to Churn Valley. Oh, that's pretty cool. If you if that was an actual tunnel, you would have the uh, welcome sign coming out of the tunnel. All right, let's make our way down here to these uh, buy points at the uh, dock facility and uh, check out Highland Grains, and then we'll call this video done. I want to thank you guys for watching. Oh, no, we're not done, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do my pre-wrap up. Uh, so, I th oh, we got a big old uh, solar collector area there. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and click the like button. If you're not a subscriber, uh, please consider subscribing. I do map videos uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. And uh, then during the week, we have other regular scheduled content. Uh, that comes up. We're wrapping up a Let's Play series on Serenity Valley version 4.3 or 4.1 and uh, we will soon be moving to Slovak Village for our main play series and uh, we're also going to have a play series on another map uh, that is soon to be coming out uh, by the time this video airs uh, it will be already be out hopefully so I will keep that uh, keep that unmentioned until the map is truly out, just in case there are delays in that. So here we have a buy point. Uh, I think this is Highland Grain. Highland Grain takes wheat, canola, and corn. And we're coming up to the dock area, which has a an abundance of buy points. Up, up, up. Very detailed dock area with lots of cranes. Up, 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 up. See, this is what happens when I try to drive from 30,000 feet. We're going to Churn Valley Greenery. This looks a lot like a uh, real dock complex. I remember Churn Valley Street Depot. I remember going with my grandfather to the Baltimore um, dockyard to sell some grain. And it's a lot like what this looked like. So here we have a sell point for logs. Churn Valley Greenery. We come through here come through our way scale uh, we come up into our dump uh, here we have our animal buy point it looks like we're gonna have to back our trailer all the way up into here to buy our animals Let's see if we back up a little bit 
Yep, we can't do it from here. We have to get inside here, so that'll be a fun little job for people that have problems backing up. Here's a buy point for sugar beets and potatoes. Churn Valley root crop sales. something further down here I think this may be the wool buy point indeed it is British wool all right let's turn around we'll go down the other dock because I do know that there are buy points down there so I also like for you guys to check out the PCSG web community. Uh, they're a great bunch of uh, simulation uh, gamers. Uh, they're into all kinds of sim based gaming, including farm sim, truck sim, Euro truck, and American truck, uh, flight sim. Uh, there's some bus sims that they're into. They're pretty much if it's sim based, they're going to be into it. Uh, we have um, some awesome mods hosted there. We are the we are a uh, authorized hoster of Stevie's mods. Uh, we also have several mods from Farmer Andy and some other well-known uh, mod authors. Uh, Slow Tide, for example. So here we have a slurry buy point. So I encourage you to check those out. Uh, we also, over at PCSG, have some multiplay servers. Uh, we have an open community multiplay server that's open to any PCSG member. Uh, and then we also have some multiplayer servers that are kind of uh, by invitation only. Uh, again, for for PCSG members uh, on Fridays and Saturdays, uh, we have a scheduled multiplay farm sim, and then on Sundays we do a scheduled multiplay on um, either Euro Truck or American Truck sim. We're going to run down here because it looks like we've got some more equipment down here. At Churn Valley, what? Churn Valley something. Churn Valley Grain Store. So, uh, this is where we can, um, this is where the author said we could come in and just basically tip into this building. Um, grain for storage. We have fuel, we have a tractor, and uh, we have our sugar beet harvester. And we have another tractor and a tipper stored down here. And this building should also be for uh, root crop storage. A little bit of a frame hit here. Not sure what's going on there, but uh, let's go take a look. So you can see by looking at these... Um, red boxes it does seem to have collisions on the walls here so this is where you can also come and store grain so guys once again I thank you for watching and uh, until next time happy farming